Climate, hurricanes, infrastructure. We've examined how it may look in 2065, but what about forecasting a tropical system 50 years from now? It's bound to be way more accurate, right? Which hopefully translates into saving lives. In 2005, and even today, we rely on a sparse network of fixed buoys, like this one, to get sea surface conditions. That translates to about one buoy in an area about the size of Colorado. So unless a tropical system goes right over that buoy, which happens perhaps once every 10 years, the buoy won't help. And even if it does go over that buoy, the data is just from that one spot. Fast forward 50 years to 2065. Remote controlled buoys with micro GPS. We'd be able to send them wherever they're needed by positioning a batch of these buoys in the path of a storm, the real time surface data would be invaluable. And then add LIDAR to each buoy. It's a laser capable of measuring the winds up to a thousand feet. These buoys could move with a hurricane in areas that are unsafe to be in, but measuring real important stuff like sea spray. That is a huge help with intensity forecasting. Whoa. The drone era for forecasting and research is in its infancy. But in 50 years, maybe a fleet of drones. Instead of just a hurricane hunter plane flying at 5,000 to 10,000 feet into a storm with maybe one drone, now you've got a fleet of drones providing continuous real-time data at all heights from the surface up to the top of the hurricane. And from space, advancements in satellite technology give us new images every few seconds instead of every 30 minutes. Our current 120 megapixel camera in space will have more than 500 megapixels. That should double or even quadruple the detail of each part of the hurricane. We'll watch storms grow in ultra HD burst mode, a continuous view of mother nature from high above the earth. And let's face it, we're barely scratching the surface here. There will more than likely be advances in technology that we can't even fathom right now. No longer will we need a cone to signify the landfall. We'll have pinpoint accuracy right down to the neighborhood. The future of both track and intensity forecasts will be greatly improved.